So I was working something quite scary out today, and that is how much it's cost me to actually learn how to lucid dream. Now, when I say cost, I actually am not including my time here, which obviously if I was working for the number of hours that I had spent learning how to lucid dream, I would have earned you know, a lot more money. It would have cost me a lot of money. But in terms of the cost of actually learning, so what books did I buy? What courses have I brought? What supplements have I tried? What, what lucid dreaming technology have I purchased? All of these things added up. I would say are in the region of two to three thousand pounds, which is about maybe four thousand dollars. I don't know the exact conversion rate, but long story short, it's a lot of money. I've spent a lot of money on lucid dreaming, whether it's on you know courses, ebooks, products, various different things, and that's not including time. I've probably spent hundreds of hours learning how to lucid dream, which you know hundreds of hours. Even if you're on minimum wage, that's a lot of money. So the question is, do I regret any of it? And I have to say, absolutely not. It's cost me a lot of money, it's taken a lot of time, but the point I am at now is a point where I... I realise there's probably a really annoying fan noise, I don't know if you could even hear me. The point I am at now is where I can have a pretty spontaneous lucid dream most of the time. On most days of the week, in fact, I can have a random lucid dream. Sometimes I'll go a few weeks without having hardly any lucid dreams, and that's normal, I think. Everyone goes through these sort of lucid dreaming ruts where they just aren't having any lucid dreams, but that's that's normal, you know? <laughs> you can't do anything about that. But I see a lot of people who are maybe anxious about investing any time or money into learning how to lucid dream. They just want to do everything for free and instantly, you know, right now. And while you can do that, I would always say to treat lucid dream with a bit more value. It is a very valuable thing to do. And if you, if you could go to a company or you know, if you could go to somewhere, like a venue, and they could they could give you, like in the film Total Recall, they could give you a, a memory of doing something incredible, like being a secret agent on a moon mission, or you know, exploring some alien world. If they could give you that experience and those memories, people would pay thousands for that, maybe even tens of thousands, because those memories are very tangible to you. They feel very real to you and those experiences are priceless. So when I see people complaining about even having to buy one ebook or one small course on lucid dreaming, it blows my mind because this stuff is real. Although you can learn it for free, absolutely you can. Of course, you know, there are hundreds of thousands of articles and videos for free and you could learn it completely for free, right? But if there's something, if there's any course or ebook that's offering you something maybe that you can't get, for free, a collection of somebody's experience and wisdom, right? That stuff is valuable. That is valuable. And especially with lucid dreaming, that is worth probably far more than is being charged for it by anyone. And I think there's, although there's a lot of free information out there, I've always thought there's this aversion to spending money on lucid dreaming. And although, yes, I, on the one hand, I do agree, you, you can and should be able to learn it for free. Of course. But again, on the other hand, if, if someone is providing their experience or knowledge based on their actual things they've done, based on their, based on actually them spending time and learning how to do something and then finding the best optimised way of doing it and, and giving you that information, that is valuable. At least it is to me. And that's why I've spent so much money on lucid dreaming, because I value people's experiences and the knowledge people are imparting in these, in these courses, ebooks, all these, these things like this, because summarizing somebody else's knowledge yes you could learn for free but if you have the op if you have the opportunity to spend say thirty dollars forty dollars on a video course that an experienced lucid dreamer has made and in that course they're going to share everything they've learned over 10 years in a condensed video course like that is worth a lot because rather than you spending 10 or 20 years of learning that stuff you can pay forty dollars now and get all of the information right now. So I don't really know why I made this video, I just, I kind of wanted to just get it off my chest and just explain maybe how much I've spent on lucid dreaming and just, to just kind of address this idea that everything should be free. Yes, I agree that it should be free, but if you want more, okay, if you want to save yourself time, because time is the real thing here, if you want to save yourself those 10 years or even five years, even if it could save you one year of your life of looking things up, researching, finding things out for yourself, if you could save all of that time and it's only going to cost you $40, even if it would cost you $400, that's worth it to me because 
a year of my time is worth a lot more than $400. It's certainly worth a lot more than $30. Anyway, if you've got this far into the video, leave a comment saying hot air balloon and we'll see what people think of that. I think it's quite funny how people get to the end of the video and hear me say like comment water balloon or hot air balloon or something and then other people sort of skim it or maybe watch the first minute and then see the comments and they're like why is there dozens of people commenting water balloon or what was I asked you to comment yesterday? It was something silly wasn't it? Anyway that's it for now guys, done. Thank <music> you.